on this episode of Throwdown. Give it up for the Kentucky Hot Brown. It's a race to the finish with brothers Joe and John Castro in Louisville, Kentucky, home of the fastest two minutes in sports. The Castros think they're being featured on a Food Network special called Triple Crown Cravings. It's triple Crown Cravings. Yeah, and we're doing the hot brown. Little do they know that they've been set up... What happened? ...for a hot brown showdown. It's New York... It is Louisville, not Louisville. ...versus the Bluegrass State. <laughs> Today on Throwdown. My name is Bobby Flay. My mission, to find the best of the best. My objective, perfecting their signature dish. The plan of attack, I'm showing up to challenge them, but they don't know it. I may win, I might even lose. It's anybody's game. It's the ultimate throwdown. All right. The next challenge is, all right, hot grounds, Kentucky style. My three favorite things about Kentucky, the Derby, bourbon, and hot browns. All right, Joe and John Castro of Louisville, Kentucky. I'm John Castro. That's it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Then I'm just Joe Castro, too. All right, claim to fame. Joe was executive chef at the Brown Hotel, where the Kentucky Hot Brown was first invented. We serve hot browns every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. John's been making hot browns since he was six. There's a lot of great food in Louisville, but during Derby, they really crave the hot brown. Both brothers have been featured on TV and in the press as absolute experts in this regional favorite. A hot brown is just like a very basic dish with the roasted turkey and then the bread and the Mornay, tomatoes. It's just a really nice, kind of comforting, warm dish to eat. Here's the setup. It's Kentucky Derby time in Louisville. So the Castro brothers think they're part of a Food Network special called Triple Crown Cravings. I like that. Food Network, you're watching Triple Crown Cravings. And we're making the Kentucky hot brown. Your mission, find out all you can about the Castros and their winning Kentucky Hot Brown. You're going up against brothers with a lifetime of experience. So for this throwdown, you better be sure your hot brown recipe is in thoroughbred shape. Cook or be cooked. It's derby time in Louisville, Kentucky. And at the races, there are two things that really get the crowds going. The mint julep and the Kentucky hot brown. The hot brown is a decadent open face sandwich piled high with roast turkey, juicy tomatoes, a creamy cheese sauce, and crisp bacon. It's like the pastrami sandwich in New York. You have that, you get that. You come to Louisville, you gotta have the hot browns. And no one knows the hot brown better than the Castro brothers, Joe and John. If you ask Joe how many hot browns he's served in his life, he'll say... Probably close to 200 a day, thousands and thousands and thousands over the years. John's a fan, too. In fact, he takes the dish so seriously, he even created his own version called a not brown. Instead of bread, I use fried green tomatoes, bacon always, and a little tomatoes. Joe and John's passion for cooking began when they were kids at home on the farm. Well, we grew up with a mean old Kentucky mom. <laughs> And uh, she loved to farm. She hated to cook. So we spent a lot of time in the garden. We were introduced to so many different things, um, different vegetables and different uh, growing seasons and how all that really worked. So it's pretty amazing. They were also influenced by their unusual background. We're hybrids. <laughs> we're, uh, our mom's from Kentucky and our dad's from the Philippines. So, you know, we got the strong regional accent. Yep. And then we had the fish heads cooking at 11 p.m. at night. Yeah. They're brothers, they're chefs, and they both agree that the most important thing is to find the freshest ingredients straight from the farm. If you pick a squash and you see sap dripping out of it when you get it to the house, that's fresh. You know, when you see a piece of lettuce where it's all browned off on the bottom, well, it's had a couple days. You won't buy old fish. Why buy old vegetables? There's yeah. farmers everywhere, you know. And they bring this enthusiasm to their favorite dish, the Kentucky Hot Brown. Tomorrow, the Castro brothers will be serving up plenty of their specialty at a pre-derby celebration at Whitehall Mansion. We're gonna do some hot browns over there. It's gonna be a lot of great people, some good bourbon. Gotta things have a little bourbon on. to get things going. A lot of smiles in that bourbon. Absolutely. It's the perfect setting for a party and a throwdown. Delicious. 
I love Kentucky Hot Browns. It's just sort of the perfect comfort sandwich, you know? It's got uh, savory French toast, and it's got this really cool cheese sauce and tomatoes, and I love these things so much. I serve it in my restaurant every single day for lunch. My strategy is actually to treat every single ingredient individually to build up and make the perfect Kentucky Hot Brown. The only thing bad about a hot brown is that you need a nap right after you eat it. The Castro brothers are a tough team to beat. It's awful fit. I'm feeling fresh. in the horse business, it's awful fit. Hmm. Will I be able to take the lead? Come on, give it up for the Kentucky Hot Brown. Or will this just be a losing race? You know what, I don't like that technique. I'm sorry, I have to stop you. Brothers Joe and John Castro are down home in Kentucky, getting ready to show our cameras their tricks for a heavenly hot brown. Rolling time. <laughs> All right, we're making Kentucky hot browns. Let's make it happen. All right, so we're making Kentucky hot browns today. But first, let me introduce Miriam, the bacon. And we have... The cheese, the big cheese. The big cheese. <laughs> Stephanie. All right, Kentucky hot browns. It's a classic open-faced sandwich. I mean, it's just... Delicious. It's delicious. Traditionally, the hot brown starts with a piece of bread that is layered with turkey, cheese sauce, tomatoes, and bacon. But I'm changing the rules by using a savory French toast as my base. So why don't you start making the French toast? We're going to cook the bacon in the oven. This stuff's amazing. It's just so smoky and delicious. And you always want to start in a hot skillet because it won't stick if you're hot. While the bacon crisps, we make the French toast batter. It's just eggs, milk, salt, and pepper. So what I'm doing, gonna do is just put some bread down on this uh, skillet. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm just using Texas toast. It's just some white bread. You can certainly change that up if you choose to do that. I'm using a thick cut white bread to dip in my egg batter. All right, yeah, it may soak it nicely. You know, when you talk to old timers that eat the hot brown, the key thing is they wanna make sure you got a little crispy edge and you got that yeah, soft that succulent toast. bread with the turkeys. On, on the uh, French toast, we just want, yeah, nice and brown. Beautiful, look, you are brilliant. I'm a pro. All right, so we have bacon in the oven, we have this French toast, and now we have to make the sauce. The cheese sauce starts with a base of milk, flour, and butter. Once the milk mixture thickens, it's time to add the cheese. I'm using sharp cheddar and Parmesan. And we'll add the Romano. So this is basically like cheese gravy, right? Cheese gravy. Cheese gravy. We got a new term, John, but I'll go with that. Wasn't neat, you know. Salt. It's gotta have salt. <laughs> <laughs> I plan to be buried in salt. No one bombing here. <laughs> Just pack me in salt and put me in a box. John, we about forgot the yeah, important no ingredient. Doubt. A pinch of nutmeg. Nutmeg is classic in a bechamel, so we're just staying along the same classic lines. For my hot brown, I'm bringing out the best in every ingredient. So I'm grilling my tomatoes to enhance their sweetness. Oh, very close. Oh. Now they're fire roasted. <laughs> so we're just gonna put a couple of these tomatoes on here. You know, you gotta get your fruits and vegetables in, right? <laughs> yeah, and you also need a little bit of acid to kind of balance this dish. Now we can slice up our roasted turkey breast. We're getting to the assembly point. Savory French toast, turkey, cheese sauce. Coat that turkey. If you don't get it covered, you know it's gonna burn. We don't want to crisp up. We want to kind of give it a little coat. Yeah, you don't want those tough edges. Grab a little of this paprika, John. Yep, you're gonna sprinkle a little bit. We're gonna drop these in the oven about 400 degrees and cook them till they're bubbly and brown. After a few minutes under the broiler, the hot browns are ready to eat. Griddled tomato, bacon, and a nap. <laughs> John, to me, this is a great breakfast, sure. brunch, lunch, dinner. And I know if I'm out late at night, that's going to be good about 12 o'clock. And that is your Kentucky hot brown sandwich. It's a very messy sandwich, too. It's messy. The cheese sauce really makes it, you know? Tomato is a must. I might even put two slices on mine. OK. Mm -hmm. Bacon. It's delicious. Two fat guys eating bacon. <laughs> Pretty sad. <laughs> All right, Castro brothers. Take that. <laughs> Look at this. I know you guys are shaking in your boots now. 
It's Derby weekend down in Kentucky, and the party has already started at Whitehall Mansion. The traditional derby drink, the mint julep, is being served, and Joe and John are getting a head start at winning over the crowd. Welcome to Whitehall in Louisville, Kentucky. We're going to get ready to do some cooking. Joe's got the plan, so. We're going to make a hot brown in the rain. We don't care if it's raining, we're going to do it. <laughs> but don't place your bets yet. All right, we're in Louisville, Kentucky on a nice rainy day, Derby weekend, and uh, we are off to see the Castro brothers, Joe and John Castro. Those Castro boys are cooking again, aren't they? <laughs> Hot brown is, it's just a Kentucky tradition. It's pretty cool how important this little dish is for Kentucky, and uh, you know, we're just glad you're eating it today. Absolutely. All right. So, we have to roast some turkey. We've got a turkey breast here. Yo, what you guys making? Hey! <laughs> hey! Looking good! Come in. How you doing? <laughs> I think I know what's happening here. What do you mean you think you know what's happening? I'm just so happy to be in Louisville here on Derby Weekend because I'm starving, and I heard you're making Kentucky Hot Browns. Is that true? That's right. One of my favorite dishes. In fact, I just can't go to the races. I'm going to have to challenge you to a Kentucky Hot Brown throwdown. <laughs> All right, bring it. Let's bring it. Let's it. do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Absolutely. He's a great chef. The problem is he's got two fat men that love fat, and that could hurt him a little bit. <laughs> this is a competition. We stand for Kentucky. I surprise brothers Joe and John Castro with a hot brown throwdown. The dish is a Kentucky Derby tradition, and I'm not sure how the locals feel about a New Yorker stepping in to make it. Handicap odds, <laughs> eight fives. Now I gotta get the edge of Joe. This is a competition. We stand for Kentucky. That's what this well, is all about. I'm gonna go to the home court advantage. Yeah. Hey, I'm up for the challenge. The Castros have already started their hot brown, so I'm setting up camp on the other side of the terrace. Let the race begin. We start with the cheese sauce. It's basically a bechamel, which is flour and butter. And then you add milk to it, and then, you know, you can add all kinds of different cheeses. To any good cream sauce, there's a couple things you don't want to forget. It's a bay leaf. It's that thing that would keep the bugs out of your cupboard. There it is. You actually cook with these, folks. The Castro sauce is made with heavy cream, so it's going to be ultra rich. But my sauce is in trouble. We left one of our key ingredients back at the hotel. You got more flour? It's not in there. I gotta go get some. Gotta go get some? Looks like Miriam is infiltrating enemy territory to try and get some. No, no flour. Where are you from, though? Originally? No. Oh, I see how this works. We did. <laughs> well, we'd love flour. to. Flour, yeah. We'd love to. Out. No flour. I see how they want to play it, but I'm still confident in my hot brown. Do I look like I'm under pressure right now? No. What's your specialty? What's your best dish? My best dish? Ooh, that's a tough one. I actually have, I have a restaurant called Bar American in New York, and our number one selling dish, dish at lunch is a Kentucky Hot Brown. Really? Yes. That's very interesting. The Castros must have heard me. Looks like they're looking for a little luck. I want all the girls from St. Stephen Board to come touch the wind. We're going, we're going to win or lose together. All right, get in here. Do a little whisk. Go down in a this ball. way you can say you've done a little cooking. There you go. This is for come Bobby. On. This is for Bobby. Just a hint of nutmeg in the cheese sauce. Hey, this is, this is whole nutmeg. You can smell that. Smells good. It looks like the Castro brothers can sniff out a Yankee from a mile away. How's everything looking? I don't know. Done? Can't say. The turkey looks good. Yeah. Tomatoes. Good tomatoes. Yeah. I like you know the French what? toast thing going there, too. It's pretty cool. I'm not smelling any bacon, though. <laughs> we cooked our bacon and our French toast earlier this morning. So what kind of bacon do you eat? Uh, yeah, applewood smoked bacon. Applewood smoked. You know, fairly thick, not too thick, not too yeah. thin. But, you know, bacon makes everything taste good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we know the game now, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. All right. 
I mean, he's so, got the bacon. That's good. Yeah, bacon's important, but not the same bacon. Not the same bacon. It's gonna be very different. We're in the home stretch. I just need to grill up the tomatoes. Mm, that looks a little ominous. <laughs> Sending up smoke signals. I hear a lot of sizzling. Yeah, there's there. something going on. With our tomatoes done, it's time to put it all together. I like to cook mine individually, but the Castro's are serving theirs up casserole style. If you're ever going to do this for a party or anything, this is the this is the shape and size that you want. Yeah, do it in a big one. Make sure you got leftovers. Brunch is only a day away, right? After a quick spin in the oven, they're ready to eat. All right, let's see what we got here. Make sure you get the gravy on there. Yeah, too. I got the gravy. Nice. Whoever so you, you got. got for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm eating Bobby's and I love the tomato. Castro's, the bacon is really good. I think it really it's makes the hot brown. I love Bobby's hot brown because there's a contrast between the French toast and the creamy uh, gravy and a nice cheese flavor. It's delicious. Joe and John's hot brown, it, it just it tastes like home. It's it's like we always it's had when we flavor. It's better than what we had when we were growing up. It's better than we had growing up. <laughs> Let's see what these Kentucky boys have to say about my hot brown. French toast down in here, which is a very cool idea. You know, he's inventive, man. Roasted turkey, it's great stuff. He actually seared his tomatoes, good salt and pepper. You know, the guy's a pro. There's nothing wrong with this dish at all. I eat it all day long. Now it's time for me to try theirs. And for you, sir? Nice. Is that for me? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You're going to love that bacon, I think. It's got a good cure on it. Yeah, it's all about the memory of that bacon. What are we doing differently? <laughs> the bread is not toasted. No. It's just a piece of, it's a white bread? bread. It's right. the most delicious, rich, open-faced <laughs> turkey sandwich with lots of cheese sauce all over it. Delicious yeah. meal. <laughs> Thank you, it's great. Everybody has picked their favorites. Now it's up to our secret judges to pick theirs. I am Todd Richards, executive chef, sealed by Kilton Hotel, Louisville, Kentucky. I'm Robin Garr. LouisvilleHotBites.com, Louisville, Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, it's post time. It's been a day of friendly competition down in Louisville, Kentucky, where I've taken on hot brown champs Joe and John Castro. We're sons of Kentucky. Now the sandwiches are stacked and it's time to crown a winner. Our judges are Todd Richards, executive chef at the Sealback Hilton Hotel, and Robin Garr of LouisvilleBites.com. We're going to judge these hot browns very, very evenly. They're going to be really, really close to the, uh, to the vest on this one. And hopefully we'll pick out the right winner. We're going to be looking for balance and intensity of flavor. We're going to be looking for either tradition or creativity. And uh, we hope they've got their game faces on and came to play. The judges are starting with dish A. My take on the Kentucky hot brown with savory French toast and grilled tomatoes. Well, so far, this one looks like a pretty traditional hot brown. It doesn't have any real twists or turns. It's rude to talk with your mouth full of something. <laughs> well, I don't know about you, Todd. I could inhale this whole thing, but we got to save some room for that one. I I'm fat. I can eat all this. <laughs> Next, they tried dish B, the Castro Brothers classic Kentucky hot brown with Texas toast. It just reminds me of something my grandmother would make. This, like, takes me, takes me home. It's, uh comfort food, which a good hot brown should be. These are both delicious hot browns. It's going to be tough to call. So what do you think? These are both pretty good. I actually came down to bread. That's what. I didn't do. And that means you like this one? No. You like this one? Yep. Photo finish. Yeah. 
These are both excellent hot browns. A, very traditional, very traditional in looks, taste, and presentation. It was leading into the home stretch as far as I was concerned. Dish B really struck us with its richness. It's just, it's the kind of thing you can feel your arteries clogging as you eat it, and that's a good thing. <laughs> I honestly would say that it was just so close to photo finish. It's just choice of bread for me and the choice for us. B. Well, you know, it's like the Derby. We welcome uh, Florida bred horses. We welcome California bred horses. But in the heart, it's always best when the Kentucky bred horse wins. And it was great to have the Castro Brothers win today. It was a close time, photo finish. Castro Brothers pulled it out. To the winners belong as well. Joe and John are fantastic. I thought today was great. When you walk into somebody who's uh, been making the same dish for so many years, they kind of do it out of their back pocket blindfolded. It's a very, very tough chore. So you never know, I might be back for a uh, Kentucky Hot Brown rematch. <laughs> you know, beating Bobby Flay <laughs> is bittersweet, man. I don't like to beat anybody. Yeah. I love what he did. The French toast was so cool. But it's so nice to see that Kentucky, the tradition and preservation, won out over all that crazy stuff. Yeah, Bobby's awesome. So it was really great to just see all that going on and getting things really ready for the Derby. My favorite sandwich, my favorite drink, and a couple of great competitors. All in all, it was a great day at the races. So to all you awesome cooks out there, keep doing what you do. But ask yourself this. Tell them, Louisville. Are you ready for the Derby?